In SAP Business One Release 9.0, there is a simple way to support items with multiple units of measure for different transactions such as sales and purchasing. At OEC Computers, Jason Butler receives a call from his customer David Brown of Parameter Technology. David would like to order a carton of white A4 printing paper, so Jason creates a sales order. He navigates to the sales menu and selects the sales order form. He then selects his customer, Parameter Technology, and selects the required delivery date, which is in a week's time. He then needs to select his item. By clicking on the drop-down list and sorting by item description, we can easily find the printing paper that we require, which is A4 white. The default unit of measure for this item is sold in a six-pack. The customer would like to purchase a carton. So by selecting the unit of measure code list, I'm presented with a list of all of the units of measure that have been defined for this sales item. And in this case, I would like to select the carton. Given the quantity of the paper requested, Jason would like to check if there's enough paper in stock. So we can simply right click on the row, select available to promise, and then we're presented with an inventory status and we can clearly see that there is enough items in stock for this particular order. To also ensure that his customer is getting a good deal, Jason is able to check if any discounts have already been applied to this item for this particular unit of measure. And to do this, we, again, we can simply right click on the row, select price report, and as you can see, this price is based on the regular sales price list. By drilling down into the price list, Jason can see that a number of discounts have been defined for the different unit of measure prices for this item within the regular sales price list. To support multiple units of measure, price lists can be updated for each unit of measure. So given there's already a 15% discount applied to cartons, there is no need to offer any further discount. We can also see that within a carton, there is a quantity of 24, which is the inventory unit of measure. So there's 24 packs that are included in a carton. If we would like to see how this item is packaged, we can also drill down into the item master data by selecting the drill down arrow. By going to the sales tab, we can drill down into the sales unit of measure code. This window displays all of the sales units of measure and package type definitions for this item. As you can see, a six pack is the default sales unit of measure for this item. If I click on carton, I can see that within one carton, there is 24 units and it can be packaged into one box. A six pack, for example, contains six units and within one box, you can have four quantity six packs per package. By clicking on the purchasing data, you can see the corresponding purchasing unit of measure codes, which by default for this particular item is a pallet. I can now add my sales order to the system. Now we have created our sales order, we can copy this sales order to a delivery. I simply navigate to copy to and select the delivery document. The customer has just called to see if it was too late to add to their order before delivery. The customer would like to purchase some recycled paper as well. This time we would like to select our item using a barcode scanner, which is quite a common picking process in businesses. But for this example, we're going to go to the barcode field and click on the drop down list. As you can see, there is a multiple number of barcodes defined for this item for each unit of measure. You can have a different barcode standard per unit of measure per item. And in this case, we're going to select our A4 recycled printing paper with this particular barcode. 
As you can see, the unit of measure default for recycled paper is a six pack, and the customer would like a quantity of five. When I changed the quantity, you can see that the number of packages changed from one to two. And this means that a quantity of five six packs for this item will not fit in one box, but will require two packages. Again, I'd like to check the pricing for this item to ensure my customer is getting a good deal. So I can right click on the row, select my price report, drill down onto the allocated price list, and again I'm presented with all of the units of measure pricing that has been defined for this item. And in this case, there is a discount of 7% already defined. Before I add the delivery document, I can easily view my packing slip. I can select the items that I would like to be packaged. And then I can easily select the appropriate type of delivery or package delivery which will be effective for these items. I can now add my delivery document. If I review my packing slip again for my delivery, I can now print out my packing slip, which will include all of the information I need for the items to be delivered. With the ability to group units of measure together based on a subset of conversion rules, companies are now able to establish common units of measure used in their business. These multiple units of measure can then be utilised across their master data, inventory and marketing documents, providing the flexibility to sell and purchase in any unit of measure required.